I tell you that, that I live on time was the time. You got it. Hello, welcome to Room B. I'm your host, Room B. Today I am joined by one of my best friends. He is one of the most creative people that I know. He is a master cosplayer. He is the gamer that I wish to be, and he's an avid roller skater. He is also a Pisces, a fellow Pisces, and I am willing to admit today that we were born on the same day, and he is a few hours older than me. This is the only time I will make that acknowledgement because I am joined by Toby. Woo! <laughs> I've been sitting here doing the intro over and over again. Mm. And like, I was just making myself laugh. Cause like, you know, when you, when you do or say something too many times, it gets to a yeah, point where you're like, yeah, yeah. is this even real? <laughs> like, I was like losing my mind on my own. <laughs> Listen, like, that's why most, most time if I'm doing something, I just wing it. Like, I know that's the best way to do it, man. That's when yeah. the vibes hit. I'll, I'll be hit my most... most comfortable when I'm mm. winging it. Yeah, I feel you. And that's really literally how this is going to be. I don't have anything planned. <laughs> like, <laughs> I'm I literally, like, because, you know, when I, you know, when you over plan something and it becomes like, I don't know how to explain it. Like, you lose yourself. Yeah, it sounds it never- too rehearsed. And then again, like, literally that you lose yourself. So even the panel that I'm doing in Rotterdam this weekend, I haven't planned mm-hmm. a damn thing. Nice. That's the way to do it, though. Leave it like literally, because I want to be my authentic self. I don't want yeah. it to sound. I don't want to sound like a robot. Yeah, exactly. Actually, speaking of, I mean, you can elaborate on that. Like, what's this panel you're on? Uh, that's what I told you. I'm going to uh, TwitchCon in Rotterdam. Oh snap! Yeah, yeah. yeah. So sorry, they... I just got a bit excited there. <laughs> no, you're good. Daniel. <laughs> <laughs> you're good. But yeah, um, there's a, a cosplayer that. Um, I've followed for a while. She um, she does all her cosplays with makeup, mm-hmm. so she calls herself an extreme makeup athlete. I think, but like her own kind of thing. Crazy. It's really cold, but um, yeah, she put out a tweet saying that she was looking for people who uh cosplay and who stream for mm-hmm. a sick opportunity, and she was ideally looking for uh some diversity. Yeah. Um, I think the day that I saw it, I, can't, like, I was literally explaining this to my friend yesterday. I was just like, I wasn't in the best of moods for whatever reason it was that day. Scrolling through Twitter and it's one of the first tweets I saw minutes after she posted it. I was like, screw wow. it, why not? So I replied saying, oh yeah, I'm a, I'm a cosplayer and I, I guess I stream on Twitch. I, I can't remember. The, I say I can't remember the last time I streamed, but I streamed like two days ago. But <laughs> <laughs> Before that, like I just stopped streaming. I just couldn't be bothered. Um, yeah. And then, yeah, like, I f- completely forgot about it. And then one day, randomly, she um, emailed me saying, yeah, the opportunity is to be on a panel at TwitchCon in Rotterdam speaking about people who want to get into cosplaying. That so, is so sick, you know? Like, you are, like, the perfect candidate, too, because you did, you already did, like, a, a sort of a panel, right? Like, you, I, I saw you speaking at a school. Yeah, so wow. that, that, that was just a, a, a random teacher just reached out to me saying like do i do this kind of stuff at schools and i was just like no but i'll do it anyway <laughs> um, that's sick you know yeah I and then that. off the back of that like after so many people saw it like a lot of people that follow me are teachers and they're just like they would love to have me do it for uh black history month well this year wow. so yeah so that was sick <laughs> oh my gosh look at you like <laughs> <laughs> you know what that's that's my favorite thing about you like you just go for it and like this is something that is such a huge passion of yours like uh this is like listen i call you a a master cosplayer because to me you are (laughs) (laughs) the things that you are able to put together and how you put them together i really really loved that vlog you did where um, you broke down like the whole process of like from inception to you actually wearing it to a convention it was like it was such a cool breakdown to see like just how your process um is yeah that said though you you like you i mean you were the person who got me excited with cosplay like my first ever cosplay was with you like yeah yeah i remember that you will come (laughs) to comic-con i remember that 
I remember that. No, honestly, like when I when I started it, it's weird because no, I don't think anyone's ever asked me like, oh, what got me into it or like yeah. what inspired me into it. And then I had to sit down and think about it one day. I was just like, why? Like, where did I learn about Comic Con and cosplay and, and things like that? It was Big Bang Theory. <laughs> oh, now we got the ice cream truck driving down the road. <laughs> Oh, it must be a good day then. You guys having good weather? This is the second truck. I'm I'm sure that we've got two ice cream drivers that live on my road. And then one goes and then the other one goes 10 minutes after. <laughs> I swear it's turf wars for them, eh? No, legit. Legit, legit. <laughs> this week, we've had good weather. This weekend, last week, to be fair. So today was like 20... 27 highest. Ooh, wow. And, that's, and you know, for us, that's like, that's oh, get, get, get your legs out and all of that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> but, Shout yeah, off everything. <laughs> literally, literally. Like I said, before we came on this, I was here <laughs> wearing nothing. <laughs> I literally had to throw this on. Oh, but what was nah. I saying? Yeah. We um, were talking about like your inspiration, right? Was It was Big Bang Theory that kind of created this idea to you. Yeah, so Big Bang Theory is, the, I think, one of the first things that introduced me to Comic-Con and the concept of Comic-Con. And I was just yeah. like, oh, that's that's pretty sick. Like, obviously, I saw it as a, an American thing. Right. But then I, I was always into, like, like, let's say, like, primary school days. I'm the kid that's pretending to be Goku and trying to go Super Saiyan and all this and <laughs> whatnot, whatnot. <laughs> We've all done it, though. We've all honestly, tried to go Super Saiyan. <laughs> honestly, or gel my hair up to look like a... <laughs> But yeah, and then um, in and around that time of when I was just like, oh, this Comic-Con thing looks sick. Two movies that I watched were Black Panther and Spider-Man Into the Spider-Verse. Mm-hmm. Obviously with them being black cast, black characters, things like that. And I said, especially with Spider-Man as well, whereby Spider-Man's my favourite superhero, I said, I'm 100% doing that. I've got the yeah. Jordans, I can get the fit. I like shoes as well and all of that. So yeah. once that started, and then lo and behold, that birthed Crep and Cosplay. And here I am today. I know. I know. So I remember. That... Even, oh my gosh, do you remember that photo shoot we did in Luton? Yep. Yeah. I still got pictures and videos on my phone. <laughs> do you know, I look back on those photos now, I'm like, oh man, I should have done better. But no, that's that just sick, though. being my own critic, you know? Fair. Like, I know. Other people might look at it differently, but like each time I look back at it, I'm like, man, we should have done more. <laughs> like this should have been, we should have done this and that. And like I actually still have the um, the Pinterest board that I created for that oh, photo wow. shoot. <laughs> That's sick. <laughs> oh my god! But yeah, like even then, like seeing you just being so excited about it to me, it was just so weird because like at the same time, like you also introduced me to anime as well. Mm-hmm. and like so like <laughs> it's just so wonderful to see that something that is such a huge passion of yours is like bringing you so much joy and like opportunities like yeah I can, I can only be thankful like the opportunities that I've had um I think the, the first opportunity I had once I'm like no this was even before I started Crep and Cosplay but I was gearing up to it the first opportunity which invo- like just involved me being in a sort of creative space, it was a collab with a a mental health charity, a black mental health charity, mm-hmm. and Foot Locker. So nice. that was like, ooh, okay. So yeah. they um the the girl who was behind it, she saw me as a sneakerhead. She was just okay, cool, I'll be cool, I'll be good for that. Um and that was one of my first introductions to Twitch as well. So she ran it on Twitch. And I was just like, oh, this is sick. Like, obviously, I've watched streamers and I'd like to get into it myself. And obviously, being a sneakerhead is second nature. But like, right. I was kind of, that's when I kind of, well, I transitioned into doing the Rapper Boy stuff. Obviously, we know how that ended up. But I'm still happy I did that as well. But then that mm-hmm. also opened my eyes to like, shoe content isn't my thing but cosplaying is yeah and then after that I, like i said it was the Foot Locker charity stream being on the curry's advert being featured in Crunchyroll, mm-hmm. um going to the school to doing that as well um i can't remember going to the panel this weekend is just 
yeah. yeah. And yeah, man, I just, I literally, like, for me, it's it's never been about, uh, how many followers do I have or mm, I'm not that much of a big cosplayer and this, that, and the other. Like, honestly, if I could see that same me back in primary school that I was pretending to be Goku and things like that, he would look at me and be like, that's cold. Rah. That's yeah. so, uh, like, that's sick. And that's all I do it for. Yeah. That's that's the best thing, you know. And I think that's why it's so exciting as your friend to watch you like do all these things. Cause it's like, oh my gosh, you are literally <laughs> living out your dreams. Like <laughs> little but, you is losing his <laughs> mind. <laughs> but you know what? In like that is very true. But then what I would say as well is I don't think I'd be this person that I am without people like you, people like Stefano, and things like that. Because honestly that transition I made from going from my sixth form to mm-hmm. Barnet, yeah, I needed that. And I don't I don't you think you don't understand how much I needed it, but I needed that bad. Oh man. You know what's nah. crazy, yeah? Now we're that we're adults, <laughs> you know, and we yeah. we have the introspection and the perspective and the hindsight. Yeah. When you look back at that time, that age group. It's such an important, like the friends you make at that time are so important 100%. because you guys have become my friends for life, you know, <laughs> like, yeah. and like, we didn't even realize how important it was for us. So I'm, I'm fully there with you. I 100% agree. Yeah. Like we met, we were like 16, 17, Seven, 17, yeah, college. 17, going to 18. Yeah. Yeah. And like, <laughs> we were just, you know what? When I look back at us, we were like such cool kids. Like, I'm not gonna lie. A hundred percent. One hundred percent. I'm proud of us because we stayed true to who we are always. And I think that's why it's easy for us now as adults to easily say our younger selves will be proud of what we're doing now. Yeah. Because I totally agree with you. Like, even me with like the fact that I now create content, you know, like, I've always done it. Do you remember yeah. like when we had uh, that YouTube channel we used to have in college? Yep, yep. Every so often I'll go back and watch those videos. I know. <laughs> like, it's something that we all just always did. And like we're now at a point in our lives where we're like, you know what? Let's live out those dreams, you know? Yep, those yep. dreams we had. Let's live them out and actually like do the things that we wanted to do. So yeah, yeah it's been so fun growing up with you. That's all I'm going to say. hundred percent. A hundred percent. And honestly, because... <laughs> The person I was when I left my sixth form, I was so introverted, so reserved, and like I, I couldn't, I couldn't be myself. And it was it was mainly because of those factors and the fact that I was I was surrounded by a lot of people who were big characters, and mm-hmm. I found that intimidating. So yeah. I would always just try and keep to myself. But then that was that made me an easy target. Mm-hmm. And the one thing I always regret about it was just like, I never defended myself. Because yeah. I was too scared to. Literally, right. I thought these, like, I was so intimidated by these people. But then at the end of the day, they're just people. But yeah. I couldn't comprehend that. So getting yeah. out of that that environment, already that was good for me. I needed a fresh environment as well. Not even just for my social, like, social anxieties and things like that. For my education, because, ah, yeah, don't get me wrong, I was flopping bad no listen okay <laughs> let me just say this <laughs> oh my god we had fun <laughs> yeah <laughs> yeah like we had so much fun yep. did that translate to the schooling i don't know i don't know but i have to say this is why i'm always grateful for you guys because as much as yes we should have been focusing on school and doing yeah. well in school we needed those failures oh yeah 100 yeah, yeah. we needed them 100%. we had to go through those failures to realize oh okay <laughs> yeah yeah and so because we were so free <laughs> at that time <laughs> we actually got to create great bonds because of it and my therapist always says this to me she's like you are trauma bonded to your friend (laughs) (laughs) i hear it i hear it (laughs) all these friends you say you've been friends with forever you guys are all trauma bonded whether it's a good thing or a bad thing we don't really know Mm -hmm. but (laughs) that's the fact yeah and 
you know, <laughs> I'm sure a lot of siblings are like this too, where we, we yeah. trauma bond and yeah, your yeah. relationships reflect those traumas. But literally, I have to say, I appreciate the fact that um, for me personally, I was at that point in time, it was like my first instance of experiencing depression and I had no idea what it was mm. because who would like <laughs> literally and so when I look back at it I really appreciate that although I was supposed to be going to college to get my A levels I was coming to be around people who were so unjudgmental so loving so caring uh so funny like yeah. we did everything together I remember everything. like it was like we would just even like I know we had like lectures together and stuff like that but like mm. Just ha those moments we shared really helped me get through the days because I'd go home and like really struggle with what I was going through. I didn't know how yeah. to tell my family. I didn't know how to express it. So as much as we are uh, enjoyed, <laughs> <laughs> uh, and obviously that was reflected. I, I failed. I remember my first, uh, my first year of college, I got used. Mm -hmm. You. <laughs> yep. Yep. That was me and my sixth Un <laughs> Ungraded. <laughs> yep. That was a it wasn't shock. Because I know it was, oh, it was a shock to me too. And then you yeah. don't know how to explain it either. Yeah. But at the time we didn't realize that there was other things that we needed to deal with that yeah. were causing those issues. Cause when you look at what we then went on to do at uni, like we did exceptionally well. Like, exactly. <laughs> exactly. So it's like it's that time of, of that, that those late teens, you know, they're so vital and the friendships you make at that time are so so important and you guys remind me of that every single day so i appreciate that and also like us just with there's always been something creative every time we're together there's always yeah. something we're making we're singing we're doing we're dancing like there was always something to do so yeah. i'm so proud of us that we've gotten to this point and we're still focusing on our creative ventures and like even like you mentioned with steph like just seeing his journey now, he's also going to be a guest on this in the future. Nice. Um, like his creative journey has also just been so phenomenal to look at and like to have been just involved in each other's journeys like that. It's, it's really, it's really something special. And, and I also want to say, I want to say while we're recording this, I appreciate you for coming to my wedding. I, that was, listen, so I was so always, I was always, 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 always going to be there. Always. <laughs> so, I am pitting my friends against each other, but I'm just saying the rankings are looking a bit different because <laughs> <laughs> I was there. No See, pressure, but Tony I was, was at my wedding. I was there. <laughs> I was there. Y'all gonna get one of these. <laughs> oh my god. But no, no but that, like that was, that a, was great such time. a fun time. Honestly. Oh my gosh. It was so funny um <laughs> you got to see him you got to see my family in a very unique way <laughs> yep 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 <laughs> which i thought was so funny to me because um i've always known my family to be the way they are you know i love them <laughs> as they are they're fun they're crazy mm. and so to get to because it's not often that you get someone meeting those people especially that many people at the same time for the first time exactly so, seeing exactly. your interactions with my extended <laughs> family was just the funniest like having my aunt and uncle trying to find you a, a wife like <laughs> yeah, that, that was a lot <laughs> oh, like days. we literally tag teamed each other we're like okay we are finding him a daughter <laughs> yeah they had to take time <laughs> Oh my god! Like all of but that. But no, the, just... the whole the whole experience, honestly, from like, and it was mad because months before that, I had done mm -hmm. my first solo trip for my thirtieth, yeah. and then this technically kind of ended up being a solo trip as well because I had mm -hmm. not no, I had been on a flight by myself before, but still was like obviously we know how it was supposed to be. It was supposed to be me, Steph, Hannah, yeah. Sally. Yeah. It was supposed to be all of us. Obviously, circumstances happened. I was just like, yeah. you know what? We've come so far. You've come so far because your wedding was supposed to be years ago anyway. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so finally getting the opportunity, I was just like, no, nah, we've come so far. All of us have come so far that 
I'm not missing it this time. I'm going to be there. If I'm there on my ones, I'm there on my ones. I'm going to just come, be as how I am, and I'm going to look good. So that's it. Oh, man. And you did all of that. You did that's all it. of that. Check, check, check. One thing oh, I'm going to do, one thing I will always do is I'm going to look good at a wedding. <laughs> you know what? That's, that's my favorite thing about you. Like, do you not understand how I literally anticipate your Instagram posts because <laughs> I just know it's going to be fire. Whether it's on your personal Instagram or on Crep and Cosplay, like, you know, it's, it's fire always. That's, and that's the thing. That's another thing as well. It's like, I'll take pride in, I've always, tr- well, after a stage, I always try and take pride in the things that I wear because at a stage, that's, I felt like that's all I had. Mm-hmm. Like, I was just like, Again, being surrounded by big characters, and this even carried over into uni, being surrounded by big characters, the popular ones, the 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 ones that all the girls are after and this, that, and the other, and I was just there with my high top. I was just like, all right, cool. What what have I got? Right. I'm starting my shoe collection. My shoe game, at, at, it, it got to a stage in uni. I was just like, oh, I've got the best shoe game out of the mandem. Mm-hmm. And I can dress pretty well. Let me just kind of make that my thing. And... I love it. It's funny because just the other day I got off a train, random guy stopped me and he was just like, what do you do? Because you're dressed really nice. And I was just like, I don't necessarily do anything. I just like dressing <laughs> nice. It just exist. <laughs> Literally just that. Um, and he was just like, no, like I would have taken you to like, you're not into fashion or anything. I was just like, honestly, no, I just where I can, I just like to put on a fit and, and that's it. And then, like, that day I was going out and I had no intention of taking a picture. But after that encounter, I was just like, you know what? I might as well just take a picture of the fit. That's, I think that's one of the things that we bonded over when we first met. Like, love for, for street fashion, for yeah. trainers. Yeah. All of that. Which, you know, which is so crazy because I feel like I was like, we were on, we were on the same wave. And then I just kind of like dropped off (laughs) not not because i'm not interested anymore but because it's just gotten so crazy (laughs) like i can't honestly up with it like oh my god do you remember like the mental gymnastics there's one point where you literally had to like be i mean that's why raffle boys became a thing right but like you had to be the person who was up at this time ready to get this pair of shoes and it's like i just i didn't i didn't have that in me man (laughs) honestly it like just the whole concept of entering raffles and making sure you're awake at this time and it it got very very tedious and after a while like i think I sat back one day and I looked in my wardrobe. I looked at the collection I had and I was just like, you know what? Some of the pairs that I have, I don't actually like. And some of them don't fit me the way I would want them to. So I started getting rid of a lot of them. I was just like, you know what? I was, I was chasing the hype and I, yeah, like it's easy to fall into that. Like you're seeing things come out. You're, Get, like speaking for myself, you're gassed at the amount of raffles that you're winning because I had a very good streak and people yeah. would always ask me, like, how are you doing this? Honestly, mm-hmm. I was just lucky. Yeah. I was just lucky. But then after a while, I was just like, I took the luck, not that I took the luck for granted, but I was just like, okay, cool. That's coming out. I'm going to get that. That's coming out. I'm going to get that. Bam, 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 bam. Yeah. Now I've got a whole bunch of trainers and I'm still wearing like five. <laughs> It's crazy. So then after a while, I was yeah. just like, you know what? Like, do I like it or is it just hype? And then after a while, I started seeing myself entering less and less raffles. Like, honestly, last year, I, like, and to be fair, it's not even just because of, like, getting tired of doing the raffle stuff. The releases have been kind of dead. True. They Like, so I'm not, like, drawn to something like oh my god i need to get this or oh my god i need to get that it's only like specific things that i know i really like whether it's a a a specific color or something or a collab that someone's done or do you get and i'm like okay cool that means something i'm going to get that and that's how it's been for me ever since true 
I'm I'm with you there. And I think that's I'm finally getting to the point where I feel like I'm ready to re-enter the game because things definitely have changed as well. And I'm also living in a different part of the world where the game is different. There you go. So um there's so much more availability. Like basically the way that I wish I could sneak a shop in England is how I'm able to sneak a shop now. So it's I like it. now there's no longer that barrier there. Now it's just a matter of figuring out what it is that I like because now there's just a vast array of things, right? Before yeah. you had to know where to go. And even if you knew where to go, there'll be limited availability. Whereas now, North American market, <laughs> man, you can pretty much get anything here. That's <laughs> true. That's true. And especially it's with, crazy. With, with, how, with how accessible places like New York are to you as well, mm -hmm. the possibilities are endless. Yeah, even like, even like, think of like the sneaker cons and all that stuff, you know, like, yep. there's so much more here. So I feel, uh, I feel ready. Although I have to say, while I wasn't buying trainers, I was, I've been working on my wardrobe. I've been working on my clothes. Uh, when I met Dean, he was just the type of guy that kind of like, just wore whatever, whatever his mom or his sister bought him. That's just what he wore, you know? <laughs> and I had to like introduce him to the idea of like buying things that last a long while, you know, like yeah. statement pieces that are good quality and they will stay good quality. Mm -hmm. And so like when we met, we both basically started creating our wardrobes. And so I think that's why also I'm also ready to start looking at shoes now because I've got something to pair them with. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, it's like you, you end up um, you end up finding all these, these these brands and labels and companies that you prefer that you think you know these are the type of looks that I like to go for. Like me, I'm I'm more of like a I love my androgynous outfits. Like I I like I love wearing men's clothes. But you can see me whipping out a dress whenever I want to, you know. You but go. um. That said, I wanted to ask you, do you have any like staples for clothing? Like what are your brands that you're like, if I am buying this, it's going to either be a statement piece or it's going to be like something that is a staple that I know I'm going to wear probably most of the year. Statement. Ah, oh, see, that's tough. So for me, I can honestly say 95% of my wardrobe is from ASOS. Mm. But with ASOS... They've got so much variety, but I have the patience to go through everything. Yeah. So I can, like, a lot of fits, even if you were to scroll through my Instagram, a lot of my fits, I'm wearing at least something from ASOS. But it's like putting them all together and making something out of that, that's what my statement would be. But I can yeah. grab things from everywhere. So I can even remember last year, my favourite fit from last year was when I went to Paris for recess. I wore a short sleeve faux leather shirt from Zara uh, and then t-shirt ASOS, shorts ASOS, socks, I'm even short ASOS, a uh, pair of New Balances. That was my first pair of New Balances. And then I found a scarf on Amazon. Threw that all together with a pair of oh, sunglasses. Oh, this is the orange, right? Yeah, with the orange bag as well. Oh, loved it. I love that outfit. That was my favorite fit from last year. And that was just me being like, you know what? I'm in Paris. It's in and around Paris Fashion Week. Let me experiment. And that's, that, that's the bag that I'm in right now. It's very much, I want to experiment with different things. Like one of, or a fit that I recently saw on ASOS that I didn't purchase. Cause I was just like, you know what? It's, that would be like, oh, I got invited to, let's say something like Paris Fashion Week. I don't know why, but hey, manifesting ASOS hey, if you you're there. you got to. into existence. <laughs> you know, but the fit, it was like a, like a Harlington jacket. It was not too cropped, but it was a nice, like it was sit by your waist. Um, just a pair of straight trousers, but with a kilt. And I looked at it and mm. I was just like, hmm. This would slap because I've got shoes that will go with it. I've got sunglasses that will go with it. Yeah. And then, you know, when you have like these fashion shows and you get the people with the the, the Getty images and things like that, mm. I can see myself being one of those people just there yep. with the Getty, with that <laughs> watermark there. Try Honest, and get on Getty images. <laughs> literally. Literally. So, yeah, I don't have a specific statement piece or like a, like a go to 
even though ASOS, I get majority of my stuff from there, I'm always, mm. my go-to thing is always experiment now. Try and do something different. Like I went through a long phase of just doing, oh, I'm going to wear cargoes and bomber jacket, cargoes, bomber jacket, combo, cargoes, bomber jacket. And then even the phase of where I was just like, oh, I'm just wearing skinny jeans, skinny, 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 skinny. Even before that, where I was just baggy, 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 or whatever. Now, you can see me in like a, a smart jogger. The next day, I'll be wearing the baggiest cargoes ever. Yeah. I love that. I love I that just, you're exploring because that's the only way you can get such a vast and diverse collection of items, first of all, it. but also like ability to make these... Um, multi-item pieces you know yeah. like I feel like I love that because not many men do that not many men think about accessorizing and I love that you accessorize oh I love it I love and it. you are also being so extravagant with your accessories too which is like so fun to see um I'm trying to see different ways of wearing that scarf yeah I'm trying to see you know <laughs> I'm trying to see you like tie it in a belt loop or something you know like <laughs> you know what I love that's a good idea. I make, I always make pins on 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 Pinterest mm -hmm. of like these fashion items that I love to see. I'm so, I have the items. I just haven't created the outfit yet. But yeah. Have you seen when people like do like the the silk scarf and blazer combo where like it's either actually it's kind of similar to like King T'Challa at the end of Black Panther. You know how he has like the the silk yeah, scarf. Yeah, going yeah, over yeah, the yeah, front yeah, of yeah, his yeah. I've seen okay. other people like loop it through like the buttonholes and like have it come across under the jacket. I was okay. I'm gonna share with you these Pinterest boards. <laughs> You'll see what I mean because there's so many ways to play with a scarf. Like honestly, and I've got a wedding in two weeks as well. <laughs> I'm kidding. Think about that. it. Think about it. Honestly, Yo. like there's there's so many ways and pin it pin it onto yourself. Yeah. I once wore um just like a basic scarf uh but it's really long and it's mm -hmm. like a satin scarf and i i pinned it to my shoulder here and i let the rest of it fall and then mm -hmm. i like draped it across and i pinned it across here and i was wearing this basic ass dress underneath here mm -hmm. but because i did that i was able to then throw in accessories that had the colors that were in the scarf and now suddenly it's a whole look <laughs> literally literally and I that's what that. that's what like you mentioned in pinterest as well I'm now getting into the groove of like looking at Pinterest for st um for ideas and stuff. So yeah, the wedding that I'm going to in two weeks is um it's in Angola. So my cousin's getting married, and yes. we're doing he's doing the traditional and the white wedding, mm -hmm. uh, one day after another. And for the traditional, I was just like, okay, the theme is just wear all white. Cool, yeah. that's fair. I could wear a white shirt. I don't know. I didn't know whether I was going to wear white trousers or not, but I could. It could be simple. I was just like, you know what? I know how I am. Let me find something and get something made. Mm -hmm. And I went on Pinterest and I was just looking at ideas, looking at ideas. And I found one. I was just like, this could work. Um, With my dad being in Ghana. So I sent him the picture. I sent him my measurements and hoped for the best. He came back two weeks ago. The fit's perfect. Oh, like I love it, it. Literally just more or less a mirror image of what was on Pinterest. Oh, and wow. It's, it's nice and traditional, but it's got like that. How do you explain it? It's like tradition with pizzazz. Flair. Yeah. yeah. So it's like, yeah. I can see that, oh, this is good traditional wear, but you've added your own spin to it where it's like, mm -hmm. not to say that traditional wear isn't modern, but it's like, I've added that. Yeah, it's, it's, it's got its rules, right? Yeah. Yeah. So, but then I've added that extra bit of pizzazz where it's just like, ooh, you you got that on. You've got that on and it's, <laughs> do you get what I'm saying? So yeah. Pin Pinterest, I'm loving that. I'm loving that right now as well. Yeah. You know, it's funny that like, you know, hearing you talk about this, like you're naturally someone who's really into fashion. You're into your clothes, you're into your shoes. And it's like, it, it makes total sense that you naturally are very good at cosplay. <laughs> You're so meticulous about it that it's it's exceptional. Yeah. The thing with the cosplay as well, like, for me, it's always been, 
because I've I've seen other cosplayers as well, and it's like they pump out the content, and whilst that's great for me, I'm always like, one, it, it does take me a while to even think of an idea to do, mm-hmm. and I like that about myself because I'm always about the quality over the quantity of the cosplays that I do. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Hence why I've never repeated one unless I have to. So, like, let's say, for example, the um, the panel that I'm going to uh, over the weekend, I'm wearing a cosplay that I've done before because the cost of crisis is still living. Cosplays are expensive. <laughs> <laughs> and because I didn't expect myself to be going to TwitchCon, mm-hmm. I said, all right, cool. I've got to pay for my flights and hotel let me at least save the money and um, use a cosplay that I've already got. And it'll still work out fine. But then, yeah, like, yeah. I really, really take my time and try, like, whether it be something nostalgic that pops up in my head or a new anime with a character that I resonate with or something like that, I'm just like, mm-hmm. I'm going to make sure the character I'm doing, either I can make it look sick in the unique way that I do it or yeah. it means something to me. Yeah. So that's why I like I like I I put a lot into the cosplays that I do. So I appreciate that you noticed that. As well. Oh yeah. Oh, hundred percent. Because like the detail that you put into everything is noticeable, and I know you as a person. You are yeah. just naturally a person who's very meticulous. I know that you steam your clothes every morning. <laughs> like you know. Guilty. Like, nah, I'm but I wanted to ask you this because. Hmm. You know, we're all about speaking things into existence. And uh, I wonder, where do you think this is going to take you? Like, because I see you. Okay, let me paint you a picture. Go for it. I see you as a stylist. Because think about it. All these clothes that you are amassing, all these accessories, all these cosplay outfits. At one point, they're going to be useful to other people too, right? Yep, that's true. Stylist? I've definitely thought about it. <laughs> I'm not mad at the thought. Like, I have friends already that call me their stylist, which is yeah. crazy. Like, <laughs> but then I enjoy it. Like, let's say if, whether it be a friend of mine or even my sister, that's just like, oh, they need a fit for this sort of occasion, blah, blah, blah. I'm just like, all right, cool. What can we work with? What are you trying to do? Are you trying to buy something new or are you trying to work with what you have? Cool. Let's go yeah. from there. What kind of look are you going for? All right, cool. I can picture you in something. Go with that idea and see how you feel with it type of thing. I've already been doing that. And, I've been, and, and like I said, I love doing it. And more time, the fits that people end up wearing where I've had some sort of input, they love. Yeah. So it's always been great. And like <laughs> one time recently, I think my my friend's girlfriend mentioned anytime they're looking to go out or if he needs a fit or something like that he looks at my instagram and i was just like oh that's sweet (laughs) i do that too i sometimes look at your instagram too just to get like because i like um another thing that i like from other people's outfits is just seeing the colors they put together because sometimes they're colors that you've never seen put next to each other and then you see them on someone you're like what i have those colors yeah so i love doing that and like like i love 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 you've been throwing in so much color lately yeah. i guess for the last year and a bit yep i mean Definitely. your outfit at our wedding was <laughs> to this day you know anytime i speak to someone about our wedding they always mention you they're like toby was the best dressed person at the wedding <laughs> I, I appreciate that like and again it was that amazing was, it was that so was good. me experimenting with colors and funny enough i think i got that color combination idea from tyler the creator yeah and that's that was one definitely per- giving tyler and that's one person i idolize in like not just his music but in his fashion as well because even yeah. if you look at not like just him as a character mm-hmm. i i the growth that he's shown in terms of like yeah. we all remember the music that he used to make very very controversial for some people very questionable in some people's eyes and ears and things like that and just seeing his transition into being the artist that he is now yeah and then being able to have things like the Louis Vuitton collab with Pharrell and things like that and just doing his own festival and uh, yeah 
like there's not many artists that I feel like I can call like quote unquote geniuses, but he's one yeah. of them for me anyway. Yeah. And yeah, the way he dresses, I think is sick. And the colors that he puts together, like he even recently in his Louis Vuitton um, collab, he has a pair of trainers that's green and pink. Yeah. Yeah. And I said, I need to own these, but yeah. the price is not looking healthy. <laughs> but just looking at the colors sat together and it has a, like a touch of brown in it as well. And I'm just like, it just makes sense. But so you yeah. You know what? Let me tell you something funny. You know, my favorite color is green. Yeah. Of I'm like, like I've never <laughs> said that before. <laughs> but it's my favorite color because it also goes really well with I love green with purple, I love green with pink, and I have this theory. This is mm-hmm. just me being a weirdo, but I feel like in my entire life, every time I've seen something green, there's always been something pink next to it. Or every time I've seen something pink, there's always been something green next to it. Yeah. And I feel like that combo just it wants to be together. Yep. <laughs> Definitely. It's such an elite combo and it works for like any time as well, you know, like, yeah. and you can go through all the different tones of each color and they still go together. Like, yeah, I oh, love it. I love it. Love it. I love it. <laughs> yeah. So again, I could talk fashion with you forever. <laughs> <laughs> honestly, 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 we might need a whole episode just about fashion as well. <laughs> I know. Right. Maybe you should come back for that. Honestly, cause... I'm down. You know me. I'm always down for it. Honestly. <laughs> No, honestly, I'm so, so grateful for having you here. I'm, I'm, I'm taking note of the time. It's almost been an hour and I don't want to overdo this. I did an episode with my cousin, Malcolm. It should be out by the time your episode, your, your episode is out. But cool. we ended up talking for like two hours. The damn. <laughs> honestly, it, it doesn't, editing, it doesn't even feel like it's been army. an hour. I don't have producers, editors, all this <laughs> on my own well, honestly, two hours of that's, footage to that's, edit well, that's one thing I respect as well where it's just like we get caught up in the things that we love and then we just go and we, we edit it in our own way and this and other and like even with editing like where whether it be my cosplay pictures or uh, videos mm-hmm. all, all self taught but I yeah. love the process of learning it as well yeah and, that's the best part oh it's the best part and then again we're seeing you pump out this content as well and then knowing that you had to probably teach yourself how to do this or just obviously from like college days i knew you loved being behind the camera as well and think that yeah yeah like just seeing this stuff come into fruition as well it's inspirational because it's just like <sighs> we we literally went from flipping guy and KFC down that Barnet <laughs> High Street or Greg's or wherever it was. Honestly, in... let me let me give that channel a plug. Check out Nonchalant Behavior on oh, YouTube. Love it. That was our YouTube channel, love and it. I used to just pump these videos out like weekly, just cause, just cause. Just this is because. back when like we even knew that you could monetize on YouTube. Exactly. Or... <laughs> and <laughs> like the one that. the one thing that always sticks with me with that is obviously the last episode we did where it was most of us together was the boat party. Yeah. And that was the end of college. And then obviously we yeah. all went to uni. Mm-hmm. So we kind of all knew that, but by this point, all right, it's probably going to be harder to do this together if mm-hmm. at all possible anyway. And yeah. one thing I, rem- I remember you telling me, and I think this was back when I think you were heavier on Twitter. I think mm-hmm. you said someone randomly asked about those videos and where they yeah. were that would always stick with me because it's like, you had no idea who the person was. No. They were just a fan. Yeah. And we were like, it's not, not even a thing of where we were doing it for a reason. Like we were just doing it. Yeah. And we had people that were just watching it and it was yeah, yeah. things like it's, that. It's sick. crazy. You know, sometimes I do think about it. Like imagine if we, if we had never stopped, we'd be the beta squads, the AMPs, you know? Literally, honestly, <laughs> like... honestly, because at that time, you didn't really have people doing things like that. No, you didn't. no, like this is, I mean, even, even the people that I was watching on YouTube at that time, I don't think they even were able to monetize at that time. So it's like, it's a long time ago yeah. and nobody else was doing that. And you know what? But I, I don't, I don't have, um, I'm not like bitter about it at all. <laughs> yeah. If, if anything, I actually think that 
that needed to happen for me to be here, you know, mm -hmm. and for me to have the skills that I have now and the vision that I have now, I yeah. had to have done those hours when I was editing on Windows Media Player. You know? <laughs> like, Honestly. <laughs> like, some people don't even know what that is, you know? <laughs> Imagine. Oh, my God. Wow. <laughs> so I am um, I'm always excited for what's to come because I know that at the end of the day, we are good people. Yeah. We are just people who have such bright, shining lights within us. <laughs> and it's it's already written that yeah. we will be successful. It doesn't Amen. matter how, we just yeah. are, you know? <laughs> like, That's it. That's so it. when I think about what I'm doing now, I'm always so appreciative of like the whole journey because it's like each time I'm learning something, each time I'm evolving, each time yeah. I'm... Um, I'm learning something about myself, what I like, what I don't like. So that's that's what that's what life is all about, really. And I'm trying to get to 90. Like we we have to get oh, to 90. Together, right? Like listen. Do you know how awesome I'm, that would be to have I am to know going that to we be... have lived the exact same number of days? Oh honestly. <laughs> Even though I've got like, what six, seven hours ahead of you. But uh, <laughs> see, okay. <laughs> See, in my intro, I actually mentioned that today is the only day I'm going to admit that you're actually older than me because I knew you were going to mention it again. <laughs> oh, my days. But no, honestly, like when I say I'm going to be the youngest looking, best, like in shape 90 year old that there is. I'm still going to be running up and down everywhere. Yeah. Who knows? I might well, still be cosplaying be by then. Surprise. Like what? <laughs> crazy like even just just a couple of weeks ago the last comic con i went to um someone thought i was 24 hey i'm here for it yeah and they were shocked when i said i was 31 and i was just like listen i'm not a spring chicken but the same if i look like you know what i'm saying <laughs> these knees are definitely not 24 <laughs> oh, i always say i'm i'm a 31 year old with the the back of a 60 year old and the face of a 19 year old it doesn't make sense. <laughs> it doesn't why make you, sense. Why are you called boy, both boy and man at the same time? <laughs> it makes no sense. But hey, listen, I love it. I love it. And I'm here for it. No, I'm here for it. I'm here for it. Um, I, again, want to say thank you for coming on this podcast. It, it's been such a great chat. Honestly, you know thank you for crazy? having me. We haven't actually spoken in so long. Like, that's, that's one that's thing I love about our friendship. Like, there's like, no even, pressure. There's no like expectation. We can, we can go so long without speaking, but when we do, it's like we spoke yesterday. We pick up where we left off. That's <laughs> it. And even with, with Stefano just being down the road with me as well, it's yeah. the same thing. Like me and yeah. him went out last month and it was such a vibe. It was such Always. a vibe. We both, it was such a vibe. We had a good time. So um, to be fair, I was supposed to call him yesterday and I forgot. Steph, if you're watching this, I'm, I'll, by this time I should have called you. I'm sorry. <laughs> But um, him, he's, yeah. he's living By his the best. By time you watch this, I don't know if we've spoken or not. <laughs> <laughs> but hi. <laughs> hey, at this point, we don't even know whether he's in the country or not because he's doing big <laughs> things. And so, hey, that boy, when I say he's rich now, huh. Yeah, oh. do you know what? Do you know what? I have to say, Toby, I never thought we'd see the day where Stefano is rich. <laughs> oh, no, I can't lie. Honourable shout out to Stefano because... He 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 he'd been through it. He'd been through it. I'm not gonna lie. This is not even trying to laugh at him. It's just so funny, right? To see like how where he where he was at and where he's at now. It's like love to see it, man. He's honestly an inspiration. And I have to also say this. He is also the reason why this podcast came back. He was the one he spoke to me, he was like, Ruby, you need to do it. He's like, just do it. And he gave me, we had this long chat where he gave me this, he basically told me like what he had been through in the, in that past year. Right. Cause yeah. oh, that man. <laughs> yeah. Yep, honestly. And so like hearing him succeeding in such a short period of time, it just kind of got me gassed, you know, I was yeah. like, yo, let me ride on this wave too. This like I'm saying. This is what I'm saying. Yeah, like, no. the other, the I mean, other I'm week, proud of you, Steph. We're proud of you. Hundred percent. The other, the other like, couple months ago, when I went to his house, and he was just like, "Oh, look at this!" That I got. He showed me a pair of dunks, and I was just like, "What do you know about these?" But then the thing that got me, he has the Tiana Taylor Jordan ones, and I said, "Bro, 
I said, what, what are you doing to me? Look who's on my T-shirt. Look who's on my... <sighs> kid you not while i was waiting for you to join this i was watching her at the vogue world thing (laughs) if i speak they'll say i spoke (laughs) again she's another fashion inspiration for me as well oh yeah always oh my gosh i remember watching her on sweet 16 do you remember that yeah yeah where she got the bike instead of the car cold oh my gosh she she was she definitely always been a sour inspiration for me yep like and just as as a, as an artist really as a dancer mm-hmm. as a musician like she's so talented so talented. and i love people like that and i think we are also people like that yeah 100%. That's, I think that's my favorite thing about us as friends like we do not care about what it is we're gonna try it we're gonna do yep. it 100 percent, 100 percent. and we'll put our all into it if it works it works if it doesn't we tried and we won't hey, dwell on we it. it. We won't. We won't feel bitter about it. We tried it, and we will learn something from it, and we will keep it stepping. And exactly, yeah, I, honestly I think love that's the that best well. thing about being artist, artistic. <laughs> I have to say, I realized living in North America, A's are pronounced differently. To yeah, <laughs> sometimes I've gone to say artistic, and people think mm-hmm. I'm saying autistic. Autistic, yeah. I can imagine. <laughs> so, <laughs> um, as artistic people. Um, we naturally want to always try. There's always something we're trying. But as a result of that, it means that we're always learning something too. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And honestly, that can be very tiring because sometimes you're either learning something physical or you're mm-hmm. learning a life lesson. Or, yeah. you know? <laughs> so, yeah. or um, both at the same time. <laughs> uh, it's like, it's exhausting sometimes because you're oh, like, why am God. I so introspective? <laughs> literally literally but <laughs> i'm actually it, just kind of going through that right now that's i I, I've, I haven't been posting i haven't been like posting videos or ep- uh, podcast episodes because i just life just been life in i've been yeah. learning some lessons i'm gonna have some interesting stuff to talk about on the podcast but man it's like why do i always have to learn something <laughs> yeah yeah honestly honestly but it's a part of life as well we just continuously our brain just likes to take in stuff likes to take yeah. in information 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 yeah. But yeah, man, yeah, that's yeah. how we, that's how we experience these life experiences. It's what your information that we take in and give out as well. So yeah, yeah, I'm with you. I'm with you. And also, there's nothing wrong with it. In fact, that's actually the best way to be because you're more likely to evolve and grow and change. And 100%. those are all good things because nobody wants to stay the same, right? Exactly. Look at like like again, just character progression from where we started how we were in primary school secondary school or wherever it might be up until like i'm a completely different person to what i was back then but i know that the person that i am now was always inside that person yeah just needed to come out and that was it you have said it perfectly there's they've always been there and it's just about making sure that they stay there that's it that is it don't lose that person that the the true you never lose it because yeah. once you you just hold on to that and honestly your way of living just becomes that much easier 100 percent, and a good way to like figure it out because i know again we are in our early 30s so we've just got done the 20s which yeah. <laughs> <laughs> please 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 <laughs> And also, like, oh, we have God. that newfound wisdom that allows us to, pro- 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 to propel us into our 30s. Yeah. So we do have, we have some life lessons that we've learned, and I think it's important that we share it. And so I want to explain how you can identify that true person in you. And it's your core values. Look That's at your it. core values. They literally reflect who you are as a person. And 100%. once you, like, fall back on that, even if you're confused, you're lost, you don't know what to do, just think back about what are your core values? Mm-hmm. Come back to those because those stay the same, really. They 100%. they sometimes change, but the overarching points are usually the same from the point yeah. you can create a thought to the point you die. No, no, literally, <laughs> literally. But no, honestly, that's that's all it is. It's just yeah, being able to always remember those core values that you have and trying not not, not even saying trying not to deviate from them, but at least you have that foundation of right this is how i know i am this is the type of person i want to be because yeah. if i'm true to this person i could be true to anything and anyone else 
<laughs> what, 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 what? <laughs> well, you know what? On that note, I think we're going to end it there because if not, we will start on a new topic and go on for another hour. <laughs> <laughs> Which I'm um, not mad at, but you know. <laughs> So oh, I always dude. do this to my guests because I like to put them under pressure. Do you know how I end a podcast? <laughs> do you know why I love asking this? It's because it makes everyone feel like, crap, I'm supposed to know this. <laughs> I have listened and I have listened. I know she said this. What is it? And it See, makes you that's... panic. And I love that feeling because it's when sounds, I put you on the spot one last time. It sounds familiar. But oh yeah, yeah. I'm gonna say it, and then you'll be like, "Oh yeah, I know." Yeah, this. <laughs> you know exactly what it is. <laughs> the floor is yours. Right. Well, thank you for listening, and I hope that you stay awesome, be kind, and spread positivity. <laughs> Amen. That's it. <laughs> Thanks so much, Toby. <laughs> thank you for having me. Honestly, thank you. Thank you. Time was the time. <laughs> you got it already.